Carrying a gun at all times is common practice in the Alaskan wilderness. And in case a bear does attack, my pilot Glenn Osworth Jr. is carrying a 50 caliber handgun. The bears may have already found a good fishing spot. Just literally, I don't know, sort of 15 feet from where I'm standing, there's been a steady procession of fish through, working their way upstream. And there's also some big dark groups holding as well further down. So I'm quite looking forward to getting a line in the water. There are no bears in sight, so it seems safe to try and catch my first salmon. When sockeye salmon come out of the sea and enter fresh water, the males undergo a monstrous transformation. They develop a hooked jaw and grow teeth to defend their spawning grounds. Not only that, both the males and females turn red and stop feeding, so they won't go for any bait or fly. What you're doing is you're, you're casting out, you've got a lump of lead here, and you flick it 45 degrees upstream. It comes down, and the fish are all facing upstream, and the idea is that you know, they've got their mouths open, that just gets in their mouth, that panics them, they run, and as they run, hey, uh, uh, that ends up in the mouth. So it feels like a strike, but, um, and that will be in the mouth, probably like that, um, but then they're not actually going for it. That's the theory. I'm going to see if I can put that into practice. Time to try and get my first salmon. Well, there you go. You got it. Ah, we got actually hooked one. With this many salmon around, it's not long before the bears start returning to their fishing spot. Here's a bear just coming out of the brush on the far side. Whereabouts is it, Glenn? He's just looking out of the brush, watching for salmon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that, I mean, that's a very definite fisherman's posture, isn't it? Even oh, though it's sure. a, yeah. yeah, you can tell he's ready to pounce down in yeah. the water. Within minutes, three large grizzlies have surrounded us. Our day on the river has suddenly become dangerous. Grizzlies are considered by some to be the most dangerous of all bears. They can grow up to 1,500 pounds and run at 30 miles an hour. Humans are wise to keep a safe distance. Oh, this is absolutely typical. You find a good spot, somebody else comes in, tries to LB you out. But I think, I think in this case, I'm going to make a graceful retreat. Once they've moved off a bit, I can carry on trying to catch my first salmon. But these grizzlies are putting me to shame. Ah! 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 Here we go. Believe it or not, this is the first salmon I've ever had on the end of my line. I'm so engrossed with catching a salmon, at first I don't notice our interested onlooker. Out of the water, out of the water. Right, come, 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 come. OK, OK, right. I think we're going to run and break the fish off. I think it, oh, oh, no. Hey, is it one of the fish? This bear is clearly not afraid of us. And that's a problem. Should we just break it off? No. We're going to break the. No, we're just going to break the. We're going to break the fish off. This is a young grizzly, but although not fully grown, it could still attack and kill any one of us. You can have the fish. Luckily, it's more interested in the salmon than us. It took my fish, and a minute later, it's back for more. This time, we need to fire a warning shot. I'm going to fire away. Oh. He's getting too pushy. Whoa! No! You guys, plug your ears. Just deep breaths. Just calm down. It's all, all part of the, uh, the day in the life of a fisherman in this part of the world. A lovely Alaskan pike. Just do a quick measure here. People say that if, that if you actually see one of these big fish, it's actually, it's, it's like a bad sign.